Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, I am absolutely bundled up multiple layers today. Uh, last night got down into the low 30s, high 20s. Uh, my kayak was actually had ice in it when I got here today. And it's only gonna be a high of 41. Um, here we are in the beginning of November. Water temperature is still holding out, 56 degrees, almost 57. So I'm sure these fish will still be around. Uh, this is gonna be a tog trip, and some probably some black sea bass. And this might be one of my last trips of the year. Uh, we get the whole month to go, anyways. Usually I try to quit around December. Uh, but the weather is gonna dictate that. And the reason why I'm out on such a cold days is because we've had absolutely awful wind this fall. So when you get a weather window, you gotta hop on it. Uh, wearing my uh, dry suit today, just due to the temperatures and uh, water temperature is still you know, kind of kind of warm, but the air temperature is just absolutely rotten. So if you go for a swim today on an accident, even though it's really not that awful today, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. And hypothermia is a big risk on a kayak, and realistically, safety first. I don't know if you guys pay attention to my videos. Life jacket is always on. Uh, I got a marine radio, I got a life-saving beacon, I got all sorts of stuff that I use to mitigate my risk here. Um, that way, if something goes wrong, go south, I got a means of uh, self-rescue or at least of getting in touch with some help. So, uh, especially this time of year, you can get into trouble really quick if you're not careful. But, we're gonna see what's going on today. I just saw a big splash over there. Um, hopefully that's the remnants of the last Bonito and Albies of the year. That actually does look pretty good. I'm gonna wanna try to get over there and catch some fish, guys. There have been some Al uh, Albies around still, even though it's early early November, and uh, stripers are moving down, down the coast in their fall migration, and the Bonito actually have made a great show in this year despite me not fishing for them. Uh, which I'm gonna kick myself in the ass and over, over the winter for, but hey, it is what it is, right? You can only fish when you can fish, so. All right, guys, let's go out there, let's have some fun, and uh, catch some dinner. Winter's coming. Let's do it. Man, this wind should be letting off a little bit later on the trip, but uh, that doesn't make it any more comfortable now, I'll tell you that. Uh, the bait today is cut crab on the jig head. Same, same as usual. Uh, let's see if there's anybody home today. The reason why I knew this was a big fish is because the amount of weight that I had when I set the hook was quite a bit. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Uh, unfortunately, I was able to get him off the bottom. That is a nice fish, guys, right there. Get him in that morning sun, big old white chin. Uh, I will not be keeping any fish under 21 inches today, so uh, Tow talk have a limit of 16 inches minimum Yeah, there you go nice nice 20 inch That one will make the cut today uh, 16 inch minimum on these fish only one of which can be over 21 inches uh, Like I said partially I'm not really a huge fan of killing all the big fish on a spot anyway, so the uh, the 21 inch plus fish, the trophy category, will be getting the buy from me. But that's a really nice tog to start the day off right there, first tog of the day, and uh, I love it. It's my favorite fish. Thank you, buddy. Oh boy! No, 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 no! 
no sooner they hit the bottom on that one did this fish hit take a little bit of drag oh an upside down toggy spit the chick just like that that fish came in kind of green uh, come on it's coming like I almost knocked over my crabs too. But <laughs> I tell you what. It's another quality fish, another keeper. Uh limit of these is five today. And if I can just males, I will just males. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Big head shakes. It's another nice talk. This is actually smaller than the last fish. I didn't show you guys the measure of that one on tape. Just because I know. I knew that fish was legal. But this fish is smaller, it's 17 and a half, 17 three quarter. Another male. And the cool thing about today so far is that I have caught three tog, three keepers, and they're all males too. Uh, so this one's gonna make the grade as well. For a shorty of the day, I thought I was gonna go five for five on keepers, but I could tell whatever there's a piece of rock down there that I'm fishing on, and it's got a couple feet relief around the surrounding bottom. And uh, that fish was caught off the top of the rock. I want to be off the side, but I really don't know which direction the rock drops off, so uh, I feel like the bigger fish tend to be on the bottom off the side of the rock. And, if you catch anything on the top, it's usually a smaller fish. So. There's the hole. Yeah, yeah. See, you, you fall off the edge of that rock, you find the bigger fish like this. If you're on top of that rock, the fish is definitely smaller. It's a nice one. Look at that fish. Another really nice keeper. It's a female. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it if I'm just gonna do the first five and call it what it is. Uh, but if she's over 21, she's going. She'll be splashing instead of thumping in the cooler. So, yeah, a small female. 18, 18 and a quarter. And yeah, we'll, 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 we'll harvest. Oh, big fish. Oh, come on off the bottom. This fish hasn't even started fighting yet. I don't even know if it knows it's hooked. Oh, it's a nice sea bass. Yep.
right, there we go. Keep our sea bass. <laughs> Winter's coming. Get them while you can. Quick measure, just to make sure. Nice 18 inch sea bass, and that's with the mouth open. To the top jaw, not to the bottom. 18 inches. You know, I gotta cast into that. I'd be silly not to. I think they're bluefish though. Get that right there. I think they're blues. But there's a chance that there's some Elbies in the mix here, so. drag so loose if these are a little blue oh no way is that a bone yeah. <laughs> what a day this is guys huh uh, this ain't a big bone but he is going to stay look at that that's a cute little bone I mean, these aren't monsters but Bleed them, ice them, that'll be great eating. There you go, let's get some nice head shakes to it. Not enough to pull drag though, but it might be a legal fish. measure just in case but yeah mouth close 17 and a half so. That's a nice fish. It was a nice fish. Oh, that sucks. I didn't have a chance with that one. Wow. That's what you show. Man. That was a nice one. My God, that's a fish. I can't even lift them. Don't rock me, please. I want to see you. You're the, you're the big, definitely the big one of the day. I got a lot of heat on this fish. You might be a 10. Oh my gosh. And that's why we were sticking it out, guys. I'm not gonna put this one on scale, but that's a big fish. Big head. Maybe an eight, maybe a nine. It's got the thickness. 
So we'll get a measure, get a tag, and go. It's only 22 and a quarter. But that thickness on this fish is something else. All right, guys. That's a really nice talk going back with the tag. Catch them up, guys. Perfect. This might be my limit sea bass. Let's see. Yep, there it is. That's the last one. Oh, that's another nice fish. So I'm actually surprised at these pens. I'm, uh, I've always been a Shimano guy, but these pen clashes are pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah. This one's getting the tag. Nice fish. That water actually feels warm. That's crazy. Get a measure and get the tag in her and go. Okay, 17. There you go, 17 and a quarter. All right, 17 and a quarter going back. Tag tog. fish <sighs> big head shakes no 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 <sighs> Stay away from the prop. Oh. oh my goodness. Ah, another big one. Oh. All right, get that out of here. Oh, I could have used you guys on the talk tournament. Right, 22, 22 and a half. Another very stocky big fish. All right, guys. It's another gorgeous talk. Big old head on him, big chin, big male. Big, nice strong tail on him. 22 and a half inches and she, he's tagged. He's gonna be getting back. Later, buddy. Thank you.
decent little head shakes. Ah, taking a couple little clicks of drag. I mean, this this drag's really locked down for those big fish, so. Another legal boy right there. Yeah. Obviously you're gonna be swimming back, but I already got the tag ready to go. Well, I might get off. Somebody. 17. 17 and a quarter. There you go, this one's all tagged, ready to go. This type of tag is a lot easier to, to get tied together, so it saves a lot of time. Better on the fish. Beautiful color on them. Let's send them back. As soon as I hit the bottom, that, that fish didn't even know it was hooked until I got it off the bottom. <laughs> this fish is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Just feel like dead weight on the hook set. That's a big fish. Oh, he's going for another one. That noise is just the uh, bobbin knot going through the eyes. That's another seven pounder. Oh. Belly full of crabs, I can feel them. That's, another, that's a really nice fish. Which is a 21, I'm sorry, 20 and a quarter inch up. All right there guys, like 20 and a quarter it says at the fourth length, a little bit longer if you pinch the tail, so probably about 21. But he's fat and tagged and going back. Ah, all right, that's it's a little bit better. Oh, that's a nice one. What do we got for a length on you? There we go. 16 on the dot. So you'll get a tag. All right. Another legal fish, getting sent back with a tag. 962, 16 inch. Oh, that was interesting. Hey, 
Hey, I, found, I think I found a tug in the middle of all them sea bass. Shows you that it's a nice fish. On the bottom, if you can get through the sea bass, I'm having a hard time getting my, my bait down at the bottom lately. Well, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Nice. All right. There's another four and a half, five pounder. Measure him, tag him, release him. Call that one 19. Beautiful 19 inch going back with the tag. Yeah, this fish didn't realize he was hooked until he was in the boat. That's probably illegal, maybe pretty close anyway. Oh, oh 16. 16 and a quarter. And there we go. Another tag keeper going back. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a big hit. Come on, get off the bottom. He's gonna screw as soon as he knows he's hooked. Yep. Looked like a male talk from what I could see real quick, but. Oh yeah, look at that. This fish has got a lot of fight left. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. That was like the shortest fight on a nice tall. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of that fish. That's probably another 22 inch. Look at that big tail on it. Strong, strong fish. Let's get this thing measured, tagged, and released. That might be 20. We'll see. That right there. For, oh, that's a 21 inch fish. But because it's for the data, for the science, it's fork length. Should be a straight tail. 20 and a half. All right, guys. Beautiful big headed tog. Big old bulldog. Nice teeth, big old chin. Tagged and released. Figured out that it was too late. It's not the keeper. All right, so 16 and a half. Tag and release. 
right, another one, tag and release. Keep our beautiful colors. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap. What an excellent day. Uh, I ended up getting, I think, five fish over six pounds, a couple eight pounders in there, seven pounder, some of the six range. Uh, all the fish are really nice and healthy today. Lots of males, which I like to see. I am keeping my limit of five tog, and I got my limit of uh, three sea bass, so all maxed out on that. I got a cool full of fish. I haven't been keeping a lot of fish this year, so today was the day to get some. Uh, tagged and released all the big fish and uh, some additionals. I think all said and done, I tagged 10 keepers that I threw back. Uh, so that's an outstanding day. Uh, leaving them biting too, which kind of sucks, but it's noon. This wind came up, kind of uh, been a long, cold day. It's still only 41 degrees out here. Finally get some feeling back in my fingers, but it's time to go get in the car and warm up, get a hot cocoa or a coffee on the way home and enjoy that and just uh, savor the moment because you're not going to get great fishing days like this all the time. Uh, the day itself, you know, it's kind of cold and crap, but the uh, fishing was red hot, so that's awesome. Uh, if you guys liked what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff, and uh, let's head it on in. What a great day.